Hello and welcome to Health Focus, a production of the Ministry of Health and Wellness. I am Fina Neptune. Today we have with us a participant of the Chronic Disease Self-Management Program, Paula Thomas. Welcome to the program. Okay, as it relates to um, the Chronic Disease Self-Management Program, how did you learn or find out about this program? I learned about the program through Philippa. Philippa, I was taking, that's our training exercise program I was following and she was the one that brought it to my attention that there was this program going on and she recommended that I should take part in it. Okay, and why did you choose to be part of that program? I chose because I wanted to improve my present situation and I am aware that knowledge would have helped me in my situation. Okay. So I'm guessing that you're living with a chronic condition. Yes, I am. Okay. And with this program, um, can you tell us what is it like um, living with chronic, a chronic condition before joining this program, the Chronic Disease Self-Management Program? Again, I said knowledge is very important. There are times that you go through different situations and if you are not knowledgeable about the situation, you would not know how to deal with it. And oftentimes our chronic illnesses cause much stress on us. And this is not always necessary, but with the knowledge, we would be able to know the do's and the don'ts. And that's one of the ways I have benefited in the program. It helped me to know what I should do and what I shouldn't do. And the program was very timely for me. For as soon as I started the program, I had to deal with the sudden death of my brother and also the loss of my job at Voyagers, where I have been the supervisor for about 30 years. This went up in smoke. So. What a place I could have been. I could have not been a better place to learn how to manage that stress that I was going through at the time. Okay, so you can definitely say that the program was very timely. Oh, very, very timely for me. Okay, and you can say that you, de you have definitely seen changes. Certainly, I have. Because um, when things come upon you suddenly, you are left in a place that you don't know where to turn. It's like you, a wilderness experience. But um, the program, we had that support. Janelle and Nadej were wonderful. You know, they came and they encouraged us by impacting the knowledge that they shared with us. And so even the other participants also encourage each other. So for me, when I shared my story, I was not alone. I had them to support me and encourage me on in my present situation. Okay. And for other persons who are not part of the program, they might want to know, but what are some of the things that this program actually entails? Can you tell us? First, I want to look at stress. Stress is a very serious condition. Mm -hmm. It is a peace robber and it is important that you learn how to deal with the stress of life. Not always that you look for things come upon you and we can focus on the pandemic, COVID. Mm -hmm. It's a stressful time and many persons just don't know how to deal with it because all of a sudden their life has changed. During the program we were taught how to remain positive in a stressful time while, while dealing with a stressful time. Mm -hmm. And this is something that's very important, support in time of crisis. Also, we learned how to eat properly, right? And this, there's so much to learn in that because we just figure out, well, 
to just go and purchase this or purchase that. But even your, your presentation of your food starts first in the supermarket mm -hmm. because you learn how to read your labels so you can purchase the proper items so you can go and prepare your meal. And also, we learn how to present it properly because before I would just put my food anyhow on the mm -hmm. plate. But now when you, pre when you plate in your food, to put all your ground provisions, all your vegetables, and sew together and make sure you have the colors that make that plate so beautiful. I was taught that. And this is another plus for me. Then we moved on to, oh, what I love, the exercise. Exercise, exercise, very important. I was much more, well, I don't want to use fat. Mm -hmm. And we hide behind full figured. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand? But I had yeah. a lot more weight. And I have lost a few pounds. Thanks for the program that has helped me Wonderful. get to where I am. And soon I'll be looking like you. <laughs> yeah. So I can tell you definitely had fun with this oh, yes. program. That's it. That's another thing. Fun, but they made sure we had fun. We are due for a break, so I definitely want you to hold okay. on to that thought. Yes. We'll be back in a moment. In St. Lucia, cancer is the second leading cause of death. One in every six St. Lucian males and one in every five St. Lucian females will be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. Smoking, alcohol, lack of exercise, stress, and poor eating habits increase the risk of cancer. Changing these is our best chance at preventing up to 50% of cancer. Sometimes though, in spite of these efforts, cancer still happens. Knowing what to look for is our second best chance for early detection and treatment. Be informed. Let's talk. Contact us at St. Lucia Cancer Society. Telephone 452-1538. Welcome back. We will continue our discussion with Paula Thomas, a participant of the Chronic Disease Self-Management Program. Before we took the break, you were um, speaking as, to really, as it relates to the program and the fact that you have infant. Can you go a little more in depth on this? Yes. Um, during the exercise program, they made it fun because many persons see exercise as a huge task it's not when you come to exercise you have to enjoy what you do and the introduction of dance so much we can do by dancing and that will help us to get fit you know so we, we looked forward or I looked forward to that you know being able to sweat it out through dance and what fun I had Okay, and what would you say really motivated you to continue the program as the time went by? I am feeling much better. I am more confident and I would love others to get just what I have. It would be selfish of me to just want to keep what I've learned for okay. myself. And I know there are so many persons that can benefit from what I've learned. And so I am encouraging others to take full use of the program. And that will help you deal with your chronic illness. And also, not only you, but your family members. And for me, I have family members that are dealing with chronic illnesses also. So I also pass on what I have learned for them and they can pass it on to their friends and so if everybody pass on what they learn what okay. a better society will have okay great and would you say from that program that you've actually um, developed friendships with other persons who also have similar chronic um, condition as you yes um, the team we have a very good team we look out for each other Many of them, I was seeing them for the first time, never knew they ever existed. And when I came on the program, I met with them. So now that you see them, you 
acknowledge them and also you find out how they are doing. Some, you know, you encourage them, listen, it is, though the program has ended, it is not the end of it. We need to continue. So your work has never ended. It has just started. Yes. And how long um, is the program for, the program you participated in? It's a year, I think. It's about a year, if my memory serves me well. I think we started somewhere between the end of October into um, November, thereabout. So it's basically about a year, or I'm not sure whether COVID made it um, appear longer, because if we took away COVID, it would have ended before that. So okay. it's about. And you definitely hoping to continue? Sure, as long as this is starting, my name will be the first. I <laughs> will definitely make sure that I'm back on the program because I want to continue what I've started. Something beautiful, something that gives you, you know, a better chance in life. Mm -hmm. Just knowing your chronic illness is not a death sentence, but your attitude towards it can be the death sentence. Wonderful. And um, would you recommend these programs, not just to family and friends, but even persons that you don't know and you meet, would you recommend that program to them? Yes, I've been doing that because um, since um, I lost my job in the fire, I've started my own business. So when my customers come to me, I share. I have already started that. I've already started giving back to others what I receive. Wonderful. And what final message would you like to leave with St. Lucian's as it relates to the Chronic Disease Self-Management Program? I would like to tell all those out there who are dealing with any kind of chronic illness, your situation is not a death sentence. Your attitude towards your situation can determine the death sentence. There is positivity in spite of what you are dealing with. Staying positive, being thankful to God, you know, not, not to be afraid to speak out, because when you speak out, you can get help, especially those who are dealing with mental illnesses. Mm -hmm. Speak out. It doesn't matter who laugh. They're only making a statement about themselves, but you are the one who would benefit when you tell your story. When you tell others what you are dealing with, that's the time you're ready to embrace help. Thank you so much. It was definitely a pleasure having you on here with us and providing us with this information and sharing your experience. Thank you us. also. It Thank was a pleasure having you. Wonderful. Well, that's how we come to the end of the program. On behalf of the entire production team, I am Fennel Neptune. Thanks for watching.